when the kids say that they miss him, I will say, I bet you do. What, what do you miss about him the most? And they might say, I miss that we used to snuggle on the couch and watch TV. Or they would say, I miss playing football with him in the backyard. Of course you do. That, that makes sense. I, I get that. We sold the acreage and moved into Okotoks, into the town, in June of 2014. But because Okotoks is so small and so community focused, we knew people that were already in, that, in the ward. And they embraced us just like our old ward did when he passed. Life has just progressed in a natural progression. Me and the kids are the stability. We are what stays the same, no matter where we go. There's been a couple of um, milestones. The first one that I remember um, really, really aching to have him at my side was when we were at um, my oldest son's football games. Rob was an athlete, and when Seth would take the field, there was an emptiness beside me. And same when our daughter was in a musical production. You just share that. You created this child, and there's only half of you here to, to celebrate with that child. I really believe that we came from heaven and that when we die, our spirit returns to heaven. And that is why we talk about him all the time. We talk about how daddy's in heaven and he's building us a house up there so that when we meet him again, we can be together as a family again. And the little kids are like, Daddy, I want a swimming pool. Oh, the baby says, I want the castle that's turquoise and, and hot pink with sparkles. And the 12-year-old daughter, Mesa, she's making sure that Daddy's building her a castle with a horse. He's just gone from here. He's not gone. He's just gone from right now. And so when the kids know that, they know that whatever we're talking about here or whatever we're planning, that he's part of that.